So um, most of my work is about the filmed experience versus the physical experience, especially of landscape. Um, I grew up in Los Angeles, and um, I lived for a while in a very seedy part of Hollywood. And I would see the locations that I walked around on a daily basis turn into locations for movies, and they would totally change these places into something totally different. Like um, one time down the block, they filmed um, some shops and they made it look like San Francisco because often it's cheaper to film in Los Angeles than it is to film in the actual place. So I became interested in the idea that um, the landscape can, can be a backdrop or like a site for something to happen. So um, with my interest in film and my interest in painting, I tried to combine the two and I make work that uses the language of the cinematic to kind of set up a format for the viewer to explore their own ideas about photography, film, television, et cetera. So uh, by the language of the cinematic, I mean um, blur, movement, um, the, the sort of split screen format that's used for editing, um, a sort of flicker that you would see in a screen, and I try to translate those effects into paint. So the paint being more physical, being of the body, um, kind of converging with the flatness of the screen. So I had been working mostly in series throughout my time here at State. Um, I was really trying to figure out how to put disparate images together to create kind of open narratives. And then I was watching an old 70s film, and in the beginning there was a title sequence where the screen would split and different images would come in and sit on top of each other or kind of flow in and out of the field. So I like that idea of the split screen being able to provide like kind of multiple universes that sit together and maybe create a narrative that's larger than the pieces. So that got me into these paintings. Um, I have a lot of, I have a huge archive of images from TV and film. Um, I used to work from my own photographs, but I found that taking um, other people's images and appropriating the images gave me a more sort of universal perspective. Um, so I try to choose images that are kind of neutral, but are somehow iconic at the same time. Like the image of a forest. Everybody has an experience of forest. But we also think of certain films when we see that. Um, this particular piece um, is from a Swedish vampire movie. And it's very kind of ominous. Um, often I'll bring in lighting effects and change the feeling of a place. Or I'll kind of piggyback on the effects that were in the film. So this is the same image doubled, and then you get that feeling of movement and the kind of tension that happens between the two. Um, this section is from an action movie. Like we've all seen in the action movie, you're up in the mountains and there's like a helicopter coming in to do the rescue or whatever. So um, I really like that, uh, the idea of like scale and the ability to go to a place that you wouldn't normally go, that you can go through to in movies. Um, so, so this piece is from an action film, and I don't remember where this is from, but I like the idea that I can amplify these sort of visual effects, and by putting them together, you get a certain frequency or like a resonance or a dissonance that happens. So again, back to that kind of the body's relationship to a painting, um, my relationship to working, my relationship to the panel. So um, that idea of frequency kind of carries over into the other work that's um, this series of watercolors over here. So this particular sequence is from a distress sig signal um, that's been given and they're trying to like send it through time to send it back to Earth so that they can tell we're, we're stuck out here, or we're lost in space, come rescue us. Or also, if they can get back in time, they can prevent the uh, cataclysmic event from happening. So I really like the idea of providing these open narratives um, and this kind of fragmented experience. Um, this particular sequence is about how the message doesn't actually get through. So that's kind of a theme that carries through my work. Um, so you don't actually see in any of the frames the clear image of what's going on. But you see a figure, um, you see some kind of attempt at communication. So um, there's also the formal exercise of me just exploring this idea of frequency, where it's the same image, but you get this kind of interference that happens throughout. So again, the, the idea of like fragmented experience. Um, and also just like, I like to provide you guys with an open narrative that you can look into. 
So you kind of wonder, where is this? What's the source of the imagery? Where is this from? How do these pieces relate to each other? And what kind of phenomena is happening that's creating this interference? 